Didn't have to tip, not nobody, not no goddamn body. You know, y'all know I got big feet, so don't do that, don't do that. Sis, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. My feet was looking crusty and dusty. Bruh. Welcome back to another motherfucking video. If you are new, hey bit, what's up? Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yeah. So today in this video, as you can see by the title, I will be doing a pre-trip video, y'all. So y'all, me and Titus are going to Myrtle Beach um, in a few days. So in today's video, I would basically just be showing y'all me packing, getting the dogs. Yeah, I said dogs, cause y'all, we have some catching up to do before we get into this video. So I have to get the dogs ready. I have to pack my stuff. I have to get my nails together. Cause y'all, as y'all can see, I have nubs right now. Okay. And if y'all see my feet, so, <laughs> but yeah, y'all. So today I'm gonna just get myself together. Let me catch y'all up on my life real quick because a lot has happened since I last posted. The last time I posted was the ATL vlog and sis a lot of shit happened okay first of all y'all i got a new dog <laughs> yes yes i have two dogs two not one not one now two and let me tell you okay her name is diamond okay right now she's in the crate so i'm not even going to disturb her because so she's an eight month old puppy she's also an american staffordshire just like poji um i seen her on this neighbor's app and basically the guy had to give away all the dogs because he was moving and they were eight months so he this man had about nine puppies just living in his house included with the mom and the dad so this this man had about 11 dogs staying in his house how it worked i don't know sound a little iffy but yeah so I don't know because me and Titus been talking about getting a second dog and I was just like bro like this is a good opportunity because we really wanted a second dog but we didn't want it to be like a puppy puppy like eight weeks like we wanted a dog that was a few months old and I was like bro she's eight months old she's American Staffordshire she's gonna get as big as Poji um if not she might be slightly smaller but I was just like this is perfect because we wanted a second dog anyway because Poji be lonely as fuck okay and when I tell you when I first picked her she was actually kind of like shy and all of a sudden this bitch I brought her home if you watch my TikTok, which I have that link down below, um, actually I don't have, I don't have, no, it's actually on Poji's TikTok. So I'll probably link his TikTok so y'all can see. But basically when I brought her home and she met Poji, sus, this was not the same dog that I picked up from this guy. And when I got, when I took her home, sus, it, it was another dog. Okay. Like she fooled me. But anyway she's really sweet though like i mean i don't know it just i don't know i feel like i bit off more than i could chew by getting the second dog i don't know i didn't want to give her away and then somebody treats her even worse but basically that's been my update and tell, girl that's a lot it's, okay that's a lot i am now a fur mom of two okay of two okay. actually about to go ahead and take a shower i'm gonna go ahead and shave because sis i need to be looking nice and crispy clean at the beach because i have a lot of content coming up and this is content that's really gonna be motivating for myself and of course for my plus size queens so i'm doing this for y'all okay so first i need to take a shower um that's first um i'm actually gonna do my feet i'm literally trying to save money because getting this dog has actually kind of cut into our budget because now we have to pay vet bills for her we got her on a plan she needs food she needs puppy pads because this bitch like to pee everywhere like yeah i'm on a budget so i'm actually gonna be doing everything myself so i will be doing a diy beauty fucking nail salon fucking pedicure fucking like everything plucking my eyebrows and everything i'm getting myself together today but i kind of i really want to relax tomorrow I do that i have to get the dogs um food ready because i'm actually taking them to a dog sitter because i i, I it's not like before where we could have just br brought poji and snuck poji in everywhere because now we have two dogs and this bitch likes to bark poji does not bark so i had to go ahead and just hire a, a sitter um they actually have like a whole like setup so hopefully everything goes well with them because if not i'm suing i am gonna be packing today because i don't know i just like to be ready i hate like going i hate like i just hate last minute shit i just rather have everything because that's how you're gonna forget and shit and you're like bro my shit is like three hours away at home 
I'm not, no, no, we're not doing that. So yeah, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready enough talking, that was my life update. But yeah, y'all, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower real quick and then we're gonna probably get, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do next, okay? Just enjoy the show, okay? okay. Hey y'all, this video is sponsored by Madam Glam New York. They sent me four amazing colors from their brand new collection, Soul Alchemy. Their gel no polish is vegan, cruelty free, and hemma free. Madam Glam has countless colors that you can choose from. You can get 35% off using my code PINKTOKYO35. I will drop the bit.ly link in the description box. All that you have to do is follow it and present the coupon code at checkout. As y'all can tell, this video is sponsored by Madam Glam, so I'm gonna go in with Madam Glam's green highlighter nail polish for my toes i just want to give off a bright energy like highlighter energy like i don't want no dark colors right now Let's see but look at my setup y'all y'all see this like literally i want to use my moravon kit that i actually bought from amazon a few months ago so i'm actually going to do an acrylic nail on my nails this will be like my third time doing it but every time i try to do acrylic it's like the nails come off that day but i think it's because i didn't use a primer so i actually went to walmart and i got this sensation nail primer so i think i just needed something to dehydrate my actual nail because it's slipping off it's not sticking i have everything that i need so first i'm gonna do my toes and get my toes out the way and then we're gonna go ahead and move to the nails so i'm not gonna be talking that much in this portion of the video so just enjoy it because sis i don't know what the fuck i'm doing Okay, I am not a nail artist, okay? But I just need something to get by for this trip, okay? So right here I am going in with Madame Glam's cuticle oil. It is also on their website, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. So, first of all, bitch, okay, a bitch got her nails done. Okay, period. Period what? And for the free son. Didn't have to tip not nobody, not no goddamn body. So I did my nails like I mean, in person, like on camera, it looks good. So that's good because I really wanted to make it cute for the camera and, you know, make it cute to look far away. Because <laughs> y'all seen the way it was looking, right? Okay, sis, out the kitchen. Okay, that's my, this is my second dog. Let me show y'all real quick. This is Diamond, y'all. Say hey. Okay. Say hey, girl. You got to get out the kitchen, sis. Good girl. All right. Y'all, so now I'm about to go ahead. I'm like, I'm actually running behind because doing my nails took me about three hours. <laughs> Oh, I would have been done with all of my other shit that I wanted to do today. I'm gonna go ahead and pack up the dog's food so they can have it for the sitter. You know what's so funny? I was about to be bougie as fuck. Let me see y'all. Have like a whole bag that I originally bought for Poji, but you know, that was gonna be for the dogs. But anyway, so it came with two of these, which are like food bags for the dogs insulated. So you could put food in here and it will last like up to a week. I'm gonna pack up my clothes. And I think that's it. I already shaved today. I scrubbed our feet because my feet was looking crusty and dusty. And we did our nails. Those are really like the two main events that I wanted to get done today. I gotta pluck my eyebrows, but I might do that on my own time. My own time, cause so it's giving princess diaries it's giving unibrow yeah y'all so that's what i'm gonna do yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now because i'm gonna keep talking and yeah all right y'all so i'm just gonna show y'all a few things that i got for this trip 
so y'all i ordered a bathing suit off of amazon and y'all will see how this fits because i plan on doing hella content for you guys on this trip yeah i got a cute little two-piece set it's a two-piece set I'm gonna try to get the legs showing on this trip and it comes with some string to wrap around your belly. I bought these shoes off of Amazon. These are actually waterproof and sandproof. So <laughs> I can just wash these off. Um, these were like $19, $20, I guess. But you know, y'all know I got big feet, so <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. But yeah, these are pretty durable. I tried them on because I have flat feet. Um, I thought that these were gonna actually hurt, but I mean, I really won't see until I actually wear them out, but they're super cute. You know, I got these off of Amazon, waterproof and sandproof, and I'm gonna bring the bag that it came with so I can put it back in the bag, cause sis, the sand, the beach is not gonna catch me this year, okay? I was prepared for this trip though. So the last time we went to the beach, our phones, well, my boyfriend's phone got damaged from the water because the waves was just coming in. Phone just happened to be in my bag and my whole bag got wet and his phone got damaged and he had to get a whole new one. So I actually got some uh, phone protectors. You just put it in this plastic thing, you close it and then it's sealed and it's waterproof and it's also touch screen friendly. I ordered this beach towel. I'm not gonna take it, I'm not gonna unfold it, but I'll show y'all like the color scheme of it. It comes with like little pins that you could pin into the sand and it just opens up into like a beach towel. It's waterproof and sandproof. This is supposed to be fast drying. It's a beach towel for two to three people. Um, and then I bought some sunscreens. I just swear he did not need sunscreen because he's dark skin. And I'm like, sir, that don't mean that don't mean nothing. Like, um, I got this in SPF 50. I bought this from Burlington just for this. Okay, I knew we was gonna go to the beach some at some point during this summer. So I got like a nice little beach bag. Yo. I really want to put my stuff in this bag. Don't this bag look nice? This, I actually got this bag from the liquidation store. Titus don't, like his bag is a little bit too small and he needs like a duffel bag because he actually threw one of his away. But I don't want to use this because it don't have the compartments that the other bag has. Let me show y'all. You see this? This bag has about 16 different zippers. For a fucking female, you know what I'm talking about. Like we need these zippers. We need all of these goddamn compartments. Titus is not going to use these compartments. Like literally his clothes his underwear toothbrush deodorant some cologne and that's it no me i got jewelry feminine products body wash toilet paper <laughs> uh, wipes i saw wipes disinfectant spray stuff for my hair makeup jewelry panties socks like sis bras i need it baby i need this bag but what type of girlfriend would I be to let him walk around with this? Even though they're not gonna know, because you know, like when the man is carrying the bags inside the hotel room, they're not gonna know this is his. You know, only me and him gonna. But it's just like, it's messing with my pride if I take this one, which this one kind of looks a little bit more masculine. And this one looks like, I feel like, I feel like I'm making him out to be a fool. Like, and I don't wanna do that. But this one has all the compartments that I need. So it's giving, he might have to go out like fool, cause I love you baby, but. <laughs> I need them compartments, okay? I need them compartments. No, what y'all think? Jump down in the comments if I would be considered a bad girlfriend for letting this man take that zebra fucking bag to, like, I mean, nobody's gonna know, but you know, he don't, he's not gonna use those compartments like I'm gonna use them. He's not gonna make good use of it, baby. Them compartments gonna be empty as fuck, just sitting there with me. It, all Everything gonna be used, baby, everything. Drop down in the comments. I'm gonna pack up all this stuff today so that when I come home from work the day before we leave, um, I'll be able to just, you know, just chill and relax, get some rest so that I can enjoy my time at the beach. Yeah, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and pack up. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Bye. And then this bitch find me on YouTube Yeah, I know I am the shit And I'm live on air And you know we getting lit Let me pour up a drink Cause a bitch getting rich